Joined here by the very lovely Todd Paul. Do you find you can relate with the promoter Steve Reed because his dad built this venue and you grew up in a family business at Terminals? I can relate to uh, you know how things how things are run yeah. in a sort of family business. Yeah, my father had a couple of record shops when I was a kid, so I was always around music. I was always going through his record collection. Always had the headphones on at school, and then um, the pubs, clubs, and, and obviously now Terminals. So i been surrounded by it, but you know, I'm not complaining. Because you did your first gig when you were 16, I think, at Terminals? Yeah, it was, um, someone didn't turn up. Like, I think we were doing a Christmas party for like, the, like a big office party, and uh, one of the DJs didn't turn up, and um, I had my records down there, sort of jumped on. That was my first taste of uh, you know, playing to a busy club. Your first residency was at Trade as well. Is that where you got your hand or edge sound from? Um, yeah, the time I played at Trade, I was sort of more into the sort of early hardcore stuff, you know? And um, some of the guys that were playing at Trade were sort of playing that stuff as well. So I, I, when I came in there, it wasn't so uh, you know, out, out of the ordinary to play that sort of music. So uh, you know, I've done that for about four or five years. Enjoyed every minute of it. You were just a bit ahead of your time than before, were you? Uh, I, I was ahead of the, the tempo, I think. You know, a lot of my stuff was quite fast, but now everything's sort of caught up and uh, you know, it's cool. You've done a lot of remixes as well for people like Billy and New Order. Are you planning on doing any more? Yeah, I'll do the odd one, but I can pick and choose a bit more now. It's a, you know, a, bit, a bit more of a, a lucky situation to do that sort of thing. Are you working on anything else at the moment? Um, well, with, with the record label, Duty Free Records, that's taking out a lot of time at the moment. The studio's built, that was built last year, and um, I'm just putting different acts in the studio, so I'm, I'm sort of producing a bit more than actually doing my own stuff. But every now and then, I mean, we, I, the Be There track on Duty Free by Tall Paul, that was out about two months ago, they've done alright, and I've uh, got the Ministry albums as well, I'm compiling one at the moment through the b Muse Judge Jules, uh, so I'm pretty busy. I've also done an American tour as well, which I'm really excited about. I've got a two week tour covering the whole of the States. America's sort of opening up now, you know, Oki's in there, Sash and Digweed, and uh, you know, they, they want me out there, so I'm really looking forward to that. It's about time some of the English guys got out there, you know, they've been coming over here for so long, so yeah. <laughs> I suppose all the really big guys, Morales and Sanchez, you know, they come over here, and you know, production-wise, they are sort of gods. You know, they've got such a great history behind them. But um, you know, I think some of them have got to calm down a bit. They still get a bit over the top sometimes.